Clinton woman says that she wants to be the change she wants to see. As a peer to peer recovery coach, she's addressing the problems of addiction one day at a time. Lindsay Jackson joins us with why this group is one of a kind. Lindsay? Taylor, after struggling with the meth addiction and recovering, Keisha Buskirk decided to take a step on faith and address the problem of addiction in her community. It takes one to know one. Keisha Buskirk started the peer to peer recovery group eight months ago. She says her own struggle with meth addiction is what motivates her to help others. It was wanting to create more resources for people so they could get better. I almost lost my kids in my fight with addiction. So I have a special heart for other mothers, especially. But there's addicts from all stations of life. Addiction doesn't discriminate. Mickey Tosti, a Vietnam War veteran, says his addiction began after going through a series of of tragic events. I had a bad experience in Vietnam where uh, a fellow Marine saved my life and he got killed doing it. Well, when I come out and come home, uh, I started doing drugs to kind of hide my emotions and my feelings about that experience. Tosti says having his freedom on the line is what motivated him to make a change. I was 61 years old and I got caught and sent to prison. And my first thought were, were, were that um, this, you know, I gave up my freedom, the same freedom I fought for. Chrislyn Shelton also struggled with meth addiction and says the community atmosphere is what makes the group so unique. Um, it just feels like um, a group of friends, you know, just all on the same walk of life in recovery, but also so different in, in that. And it's just really comforting to know there's like-minded people out there and you're not alone. Chrislyn says the stigma around recovery is one of the biggest challenges. I think we definitely need to um, lift the stigma behind addiction you know people think that addicts don't recover and that we're always just going to be addicts and that's not true we do recover um, and I think just having um, the support behind us you know the town looking at us as the people who we really are. Buzz Kirk says the support from her peers in the community has made the journey worth it. Community is huge in recovery if you don't feel a part of the community you're in it's pretty hard to recover. The peer-to-peer -peer recovery group meets once a week on Thursdays for meetings at the Girl Scout building at the Linton City Park at 7 p.m. Taylor. Thank you so much for that powerful story, Lindsay. And to find out more about the peer-to-peer -peer recovery group, you can visit our website at mywabashvalley.com.